I read somewhere that you originally thought atonement would be a science fiction. You thought of making a science fiction book. And I thought, how could you? I was fascinated with that statement. So I don't know whether. Oh, well, I didn't. I didn't. Um get much further than thinking that the first chapter was the beginning. Oh, okay. So it had a premise. Mm-hmm. Uh, I used to keep this a secret, but now I've sort of <laughs> given, given up on that. I thought this is a novel set in the 23rd century ah. when elites have turned away from technology. They're tired of it. And they wish to live in the manner of a Jane Austen squirearchy. Mm-hmm. And so they play the harpsichord and they live in big country houses and they send notes by messenger and they ride horses uh, and technology and science is left to the working class. And uh, it it was going to be an illicit love affair between a a girl of such an elite background and the gardener who has got um, the whole of the internet is immediately available to his brain. He's got diodes. um, (laughs) And I got to the end of this chapter and I thought this is going to be such a terrible novel (laughs) so I took the diodes out of his head I went back to the beginning uh, and wrote a completely different novel but still using this girl who uh, collects wildflowers in the first chapter and Mm -hmm. is trying to avoid the gardener but that's how it started and then I just I just went off in a different direction oh that's sometimes as in science so in literature, and, and we might talk about yeah. their parallels, it's worth making, you've got to make mistakes. Absolutely. And just as in science, all kinds of terrible cul-de-sacs are closed off by whole careers, uh, and it's a great service. So for novelists, sometimes you've got to plunge into an error before you find your way. It's not just novel science, it's everyone. And, yeah. I, I, and, and I've, I've said it many times that I think it's something we don't do enough, is teach kids how to fail effectively in school. Yeah, I want to appreciate all the people who have, have failed. I mean, you think back to when Aristotle was in Lesbos looking at the lagoon for two years. He's wrong about almost everything. I agree. But he was wrong in the right way, <laughs> in that... He's probably the first person we know of who thought that it was worth staring at things for days on end and watching their life cycles. But you know, it might not have occurred to anyone in civilization to, to even walk past that lagoon and say, I could spend two years looking at all the creatures. Yeah. So he gets one huge thing right in order then to that get was many the, things wrong. Yeah, I guess that, that, well, now you've changed my appreciation a little bit because I've always sort of argued against Aristotle for a variety, probably I was, because I was brought up in Galileo, I kind of thought of Aristotle as a foil, but but the fact that he didn't look at some things, the fact that mm. when people tell me, you know, quote Aristotle in one way or another, and, and the fact that he, he said women and men had a different number of teeth, and it would have been easy to stare into the mouth and check that. Yeah. But that's easily balanced by the fact he, he, he paid attention yeah, to sure. something for two years. And the simple fact is that it was much easier to make a science of the heavens mm. than, than of life. Life is so infinitely more complex than the planets and the moons and the stars. So most of our scientific advance for 2,000 years was simply looking in the sky. We even now are staggered by the complexity of, of, of a single cell. I mean, it's a vast factory. It would take you, you know, 20 years to run around it, as it were, if it were blown up (laughs) and and know what's going on. So the chances of getting anything right in in Aristotle's time were minimal. Mm -hmm. I mean, because he had no microscope uh, and very little understanding of how anything worked. But the fact is, he was our first biologist. He looked. Yes. So, I mean... we got to give him credit. This is just the nature of mistakes. Yeah, sure.